This is a poem by E.E. E. Cummings. Maggie and Millie and Molly and May went down to the beach to play one day, and Maggie discovered a shell that sang so sweetly she couldn't remember her troubles, and Millie befriended a stranded star whose rays five languid fingers were, and Molly was chased by a horrible thing which raced sideways while blowing bubbles, and May came home with a smooth round stone as small as the world and as large as alone. For whatever we lose, like a you or a me, it's always ourselves we find in the sea. Hello chromosomes. I'm coming to you from outside today because vitamin C, it's good for you. It's time for my favorite segment of our channel, which I like to call Excuse Time, which is where I set upon you my reason for being not only a week late, but a week and a half late. But this week, I do feel like I have a legitimate excuse, which I will care to share with you. And that's because I have been really sick. But really sick, I mean I have had a sinus infection. And my voice has been non-existent. Or when it does exist, it is definitely not my voice. There were times last week where I sounded like a super sultry, barbarian man that you would see on the cover of a Harlequin romance. And then there have been times where I sounded like a prepubescent boy. Um, with the voice cracks and the in and out wavering cadences and everything. It was, it wasn't pretty. It wasn't my normally delightful nasal high-pitched thing going for me. So I didn't care to talk to a camera then. You know, all better now, so pieces have run out, I figured I better make this. So as you guys know, I just got back from the Bahamas, from a cruise to the Bahamas to be exact, and I had this brilliant man that was going to vlog the entire experience to share with you guys, and it was going to be a very charming Sundance Film Festival worthy production. But what do I do <laughs> but film about the first day and a half? and then just proceed to take pictures of food the entire time. Not really give much regard towards the actual experience, but you know, sometimes you gotta live life through these lenses. Or at least that's the excuse I'm allowing myself. So I'm gonna show what few clips I took right here. Wait for it. Wait for it. McDo's! They have a McDo's here! There were palm trees at the ice skating place. It doesn't make any sense. Hello, everybody. My family and I have made it to our hotel in Florida, and now we're about to do dinner. It's exciting. Say hi. I'm putting that in anyway. It's not a picture, Daddy. It's a video. Okay, I'll take it. Take what you can get from me. Tara, where are we at? Where are we at? I'm gonna drop the phone in the ocean. Look, the ocean. Wow. Oh my God, that scared me. I was like. 
You want a boat? I want a boat. And I'm scared because I'm scared. Hi. Gorgeous. Look, a baby boat. Baby boat. Flip. Flip. That's going to be great to edit out. Boat. Adorable. Gorgeous. Welcome back everyone. I hope you enjoyed that little adventure that I filmed for you. So with us now, out of frame, is my cat Emily, who's laying at my feet and trying really hard to get my attention. So I'm just going to give you guys a few quick updates and then let you go on your way so that the Supreme Overlord down there will have the full service of her, of her slave. Um, so I have been working as a substitute, as you guys know. It's really fun. I especially love kindergarten classes because the children have so much energy and you just get so many hugs in one day and it really does the heart good. I'm also graduating in about three weeks now, which is terrifying. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's a step you gotta take. I've had no concept of myself as a 21 year old. So this whole like last six months has just been really bizarre navigating this unanticipated territory. And so, you know, it's just time to take the dive, to stop being a student, and to start being a proper grown-up like person. And yeah. Until then, I hope you guys are doing okay. Luke, I'm sorry to hear about your finger. I hope it's feeling better now. And Trey, I've been meaning to give you a call because you keep messaging me and I keep like being busy and then doing something else. And so I will call you as soon as I'm done editing this video. Until then, Trey, Luke, I'll see you when I see ya. And peace and love, everyone.